solving proportions with number chips. This is the Easter version, and this is a digital lesson. A lot of fun for the students. They get to move these number chips around their screen in order to solve the proportions. All the instructions are on slide two. Students are going to start on slide three. So they're going to be moving these number chips into place to create equivalent ratios or proportions. And they're going to be covering up letters here. So they're going to be using these letters on the final slide in order to solve an Easter riddle. So here we're going to just use scaling up and scaling down. So here we can see that we have to multiply times four and that would make this number a four. So you just click and hold on the edge and they can move that into place. Here we're going to divide by five. That would make this a seven. And every number they need is on every slide. So if they get toward the end and the numbers aren't working, they know they've made an error somewhere and they need to go back and check. It also helps through the process of elimination if students are struggling. So they have another slide with uh, scaling up and scaling down. Now these proportions, they cannot scale up or scale down, so they have to use means and extremes or uh, cross multiplication. The easy way to do this on these is just uh, make sure the students know that numbers that are diagonal across from each other are going to have the same product. So 8 times 5 is 40. That means 20 times what number is also 40. So that would be a 2. 4 times 9 is 36. So 12 times 3 would also be 36. And so on. And then they've got a few more on the next slide. Then they're going to be looking at tables. So all they have to do is highlight yes or no. Are these proportional tables? So the x to the y have to be the same in the same proportion. They need to be equivalent ratios. So here we can see that we multiply the x times 5 to get the y. And we have to check every single one of them. And it is in proportion. So they're going to click on the yes, come up here to the fill color, and they're just going to choose any color they like. This next table, you can see that they're going to multiply their x times 3, and you want to check and see if that works on every single ratio, and it doesn't work here, so that means it's not a proportional table. Every one of the ratios need to be equivalent. So they've got another slide where they're going to do the same thing, two more tables. Now when they get to the final slide, slide 9, they have an Easter riddle. They're going to go back and look through each one of the previous slides. When they find a yellow 9, they're just going to move it to the side, and then there will be a letter underneath, and they're going to type that letter here. Same thing with these. It has to be the same number, same color. And if they do it correctly, then it should solve the riddle. And that is the Easter version of solving proportions with number chips.